Viewers, welcome back to free engineering tutorial on operating system. So in this video we will discuss how file is being mounted and after that we will discuss how files are being shared among different users. So let's start with mounting. So as we all know if we want to access any file firstly we have to add that file to the system. Okay. So that adding procedure is called mounting. Okay. As a file must be opened before it is used file system must be mounted okay so this is addition of file system into our operating system or computer system okay so this mounting is done in some empty directory okay so that uh, that directory can be called as mounting directory or mounting point so uh, let's see here is that let's say this is computer system before mounting okay and this is the mounting volume okay this is unmounted volume after that when we'll add this volume to the computer system we will get something like this okay so users it already is having one user after that we will add this one user jane which is having some files okay so this is the mounted system okay so in this way file mounting is being done so the next topic is how file is being shared okay so if we are uh, mounting if we are done with the mounting of the file then we have to create something or some procedures in a way that how files are being shared among different users or accessed between different users because in a once in one system there may be many di different users and they all want to access the, uh, any particular file okay so how this is being done it will be governed by file sharing techniques so let's say there is a one file which is being mounted after that multiple users want to share that file okay so modern systems what they are doing is that they are classifying the file on two uh, different basis one is user basis means owner basis okay and the other one is group okay so the owner is the user who can change attributes okay he will set the file permission in which way others can grant access or all the things uh, means uh, ownership of the file is governed by the owner okay so different file names uh, file types file location it is being governed by the owner and a group member as given by as the privileges given by the owner they will access the file on the basis of privileges okay so the group attribute defines a subset of users who can share access to the file and let's see one more line the owner and group ids of a given file are stored with the other file attributes okay so while sharing a file the file will be given one id okay and as as we all know user and group also have their own id so the id will be checked whether this owner or this group have certain uh, permissions to that file or not if the search is being matched and uh, the matching is successful then the file can be accessed by the user otherwise not okay so there are different techniques in which file systems can be accessed with different users okay so the first one is file transfer protocol so ftp the other one is dfs means distributed file system and the third one is world wide web okay so what we will discuss in ftp is that it is a kind of client server model okay so one will request the other will request uh, the other will fulfill the request of the client okay so the uh, the one who is requesting the file from the server is called client and one who is fulfilling the request fulfilling the request means he will be called as server okay so this is just analogical to computer networking's client server model okay so after that we will come to distributed information systems okay so these are just remote computers computer systems where the file is being stored okay so let's say there is one computer one and he is asking for any file with the network full of computers so like this there are many computers and these are remotely distributed among the network okay in the network and if he wants to access any file he will request to the network and if the file is present in the network let's say this computer is having file then he will fulfill the request okay 
so the one basic question is how this one com means computer one will know that the file is present in computer two okay so it will be done by domain name systems which will keep account of all the computers and their addresses okay after going to one address he will ask for the file which he is requesting or he demands okay if it is present mean the file is present in two then he will give the response that yes i am having the file and he will give the response in the form of file okay so in this way distributed information systems will work and there are some failure methods also okay if uh, we are accessing the files from different computers and different networks so there must come a technique from which we can get rid of failure methods okay means failures so let's say there are uh, means if we are accessing accessing file from a same computer then there may be a risk of uh, means corrupt uh, corruption of disk drives and uh, corruption of operating system okay so this is the case when the file is uh, located on the same system okay the damage will also increase in the case of remote file systems let's say in the case of file transfer protocol or distributed systems okay there there may be a case of network failure okay and there may also be a case of uh, poor hardware configuration so th these are the all the failures which we are encountering at the time of remote file systems accessing or sharing okay so for getting rid of this failure we need to store some information of the client or server okay so some kind of state information may be maintained on both the client and the server okay so the client will save the state of the server in which way it is giving the response to the client and in the same way server is also saving some amount of state or some state information in which way client is uh, client is requesting the file okay so this is the method by which we can get rid of the failures among the file accessing techniques now there are some consistency semantics okay okay so these are a certain set of rules in which way the uh, systems can access the files okay so there are three type of semantics one is unix semantics session semantics and immutable shared files semantics okay so this is just related to system and session semantics means it will be related to state information and immutable shared files means it will be concerned with the sharing of files okay so this is all about the consistency semantics and uh, in next uh, video we will discuss file system implementation and the first one will be the file system structure okay till then thank you